and welcome back to the Beaumont Bulletin. I'm your host, Elizabeth Tweedy. A new report has linked Stonehenge to an older site recently discovered in Wales, which would make Stonehenge a secondhand monument. Turns out, England was always really good at stealing cultural artifacts. <laughs> this past Saturday, 30 Taliban extremists were killed after a bomb went off during their bomb making class. Sources tell us that the Taliban received their parts from the Acme Corporation. In 2006, Adidas bought Reebok for $3.8 billion in an attempt to compete with Nike, but after years of defending the purchase of the struggling brand, they plan to offload it. After the separation, Reebok will rebrand as Re-Reebok. Momager, Kris Jenner, is very proud of her daughter Kendall Jenner for launching her tequila brand, 818. Swimming in her pool filled with cash, she adds. I'm just so happy that my daughters have created many businesses from nothing but humble beginnings. And now, before we continue, the Beaumont Bulletin would like to interrupt this episode to welcome a presentation from our esteemed psychic guest, the News Predictor. <laughs> It's I, the news predictor. Uh, sorry, enough of that. Uh, I'm here to predict the newsworthy future. Heed my word, for all my predictions come true in time. Get these uh, cards out. Aha! UK fisheries will begin selling their catches of the day as pets to combat losses following Brexit. Roy Blunt of the Republican Senate will launch an anti-marijuana campaign that will backfire so badly that marijuana consumption in his home state will rise by 10%. Hmm. The SpongeBob Twitter account will accidentally retweet an explicit image and will be shut down permanently. My final prediction, Spirit Airlines stock price will plummet after replacing their emergency oxygen masks with charming but ineffective Winter Wonderland themed mask. And thus it has been spoken. Go forth and let my predictions fall upon you. Now a statement from my legal team. News predictors' predictions are not based off of any sort of research or insider information and are essentially just shots in the dark. If any of what they say actually comes true somehow, they hold no responsibility for these various outcomes. Please, for the love of God, do not take anything stated within these segments as fact. Back to current news, Dwayne The Rock Johnson says he is considering running for president, if that's what the people want. Rumor is, his campaign slogan will be, Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? DEMOCRACY! Harvard scientists have a new take on what wiped out the dinosaurs. Marjorie Taylor Greene weighed in, saying, quote, The thunder lizards could see the future and saw that the liberal snowflakes were coming, so they cryogenically froze themselves and set off in their spaceships to find a new home planet. The browser Microsoft Edge will be adding a kids mode to put in so-called guardrails when surfing the web. Boomers could go to the mall unattended at 9, Millennials and Gen Z grew up watching graphic content before their preteen years, but this next generation of kids is predicted to be so smothered that they will wince at the word crud. Right-wing app Parler is announcing a relaunch after it was taken off the app stores because it was linked to inciting the Capitol riots on January 6th. The app will also be under a new CEO by the name of Dolland Chump. That concludes this week's news from the Beaumont Bulletin. And that also concludes next week's news. Not guaranteed from the News Predictor. Thank you for watching. Muchísimas gracias para mirando el Beaumont Bulletin. Se puede hacer una clic aquí para mirar videos mejores. Se puede hacer una clic aquí para mirar videos nuevos y se puede hacer una clic aquí para suscribirse. Muchas gracias. Somos bilingües aquí en el Beaumont Bulletin. Hola, me llamo Elizabeth Tweedy y yo hablo español en muchos videos, solo uno. <laughs>